Yo. What's up, Victor? Mm. Let's play some uh, Zafina. What do you guys say? She's pretty cool. She's not that good, but she's not, you know. She's not awful. She's awful. She's totally awful. She's cool though. Huh. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> I was having uh, controller issues. What's with the name of the stream? Well, I don't think it's a good name. You don't think that's a good name? You don't think that makes sense? I think this is the name you have to put if you want to uh, scam as many four-year-olds into getting addicted to your video as possible. Hey, what's up, hands of God? How is Gregnant formed? <laughs> Thumbnail was nightmare fuel? You guys don't like the thumbnail? Damn, I was kind of happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's one of the best ones we've had. You guys don't like the title or the thumbnail? Damn. I was so confident in, in the look today of the stream. This guy's called Lever. That's crazy, dude. He's basically bragging about being a plugger, right? Damn. Did you see any cheater? I think we're about to see a cheater. But here's the problem. He won't leave if I can't beat him. So I have to beat him to know if he's a plugger. My guess is yes, though. So let's start beating him. And we'll see if I'm right. That's, that's his, like, favorite setup. The rolling kick into a counter hit move. Oh, dude! Man, what a bitch. Okay. Oh, come on, man, again? I wanted to make him plug, but I couldn't. Hey, what's up, uh, Anoria? Namco doesn't gaff? No, they don't gaff at all. They don't gaff at all, those Nam uh, Namco dudes. Yeah, okay, so I gotta, like, bait the reversal. Because they removed chicken. Not that I was going to do with chicken, but it would have been nice to feel like I had the option still. Why did they remove chicken? That's so weird. It's not like it was a problem. Like five people in the world who remembered how to do them. Total. I'm alive. I'm alive. <clears throat> and I still have heat, so he's gonna run up. I have to catch him with the heat thing when he comes in. Right there. Oh no, he caught me with a low. 
Damn, and a little corpse kick as well. Dude, this guy's so excited about winning this shitty match at Tekken. Good for you, dude. To me, it's like, you know, not even registering is that interesting. But I guess to you, it's a big fucking deal. Hey, good for you, dude. Good for you. Glad you're enjoying the game. Trying to sidestep it, he, he spams it out every time. So I've been trying to like see if you can sidestep it or something. Ooksa! Let's see if he's a quitter. Of course, of course. Predict the boo snake itch, dude. Predict the boo. Dude, I'm crushing right now. He can't get me. <laughs> he can't get me. Dude, you're so scared. You're so scared. Yeah. He tried everything, dude. He tried the rage shard, the charged up rage shard. It didn't work. He tried the fucking heat stuff. It didn't work. He tried to go for snake edge. It didn't work. He went for a fucking throw. It didn't work. And then he just fucking backed up and left the match, dude. That is crazy. Because, <laughs> like, the four fucking crutches that bad players fucking live on, dude. The snake edge, the fucking throw, the fucking heat bullshit, and the raid shard. And he tried them in sequence, and when the only option he had left was to try and play Tekken to actually do a fucking move, to actually worry about what I was doing, he pieced the fuck out. That is the funniest fucking shit ever, dude. Oh my god, that is, uh, that's, mwah, that's perfect. That's one of my favorite matches I've ever played, dude. Holy shit. Guaranteed, yeah. Good block. Get owned. What a whiff punish. Well done, dude. Dude, no mercy with this guy. Holy. He did everything, like, in, um... The entire, like, Kuma thing. He did the whole thing. Nice conversion. Ah. Unbreakable, probably. I'm guessing, but I'm, you know... Why wouldn't it be? Every other throw is unbreakable in this game. Nice the Matterhorn! What a bitch! Well played, well played.
Ah, I ducked. I thought he would do the low. This is a good match. Kuma has Matterhorn. Yeah, you didn't know? Kuma has Matterhorn, dude. Always had it. Hey, what's up, miscellaneous cam? Demotion match? Oh, no. We gotta be good. Not my specialty. Sorry. Nice! This guy's good. Pretty sure I was ducking, dude. Pretty sure I was ducking! And the butt smash as well? No mercy, dude. The duck. Right when I was, like, making a sick comeback. He pulls this one out the bag, dude. Damn. And the pop-off with the demon breath? What a duck, dude. Nice! <laughs> Just going into Scarecrow? <laughs> Desperately, dude. Getting rushed out. Tell me what is this thumbnail good video? Do you guys like it? Okay, I'll tell you what happened, okay? <laughs> what, you guys don't like the title? You guys are haters. Okay, so in one of my first streams, when I first started the stream, I used to have uh, bots used to jump in and like try and advertise in the stream. So, um, a bot just appeared in my, uh, in my chat one day and wrote out the sentence, no joke, it said, Transformers Dark Rising, Pregnant Zafina Tekken Bowling. That's all it said. And I don't know what it was advertising, but, you know, I'd buy. So, I'm like, that is so funny. I need to use that for, like, a video title someday. Transformers Dark Rising, Pregnant Zafina Tekken Bowling. And uh, then, because it's a... Uh, uh, video title generated by a robot and I've never used AI. I'm like, you know who'd be funny? If I like try and make an AI create a thumbnail for that video. But unfortunately you can't put uh, pregnant. <laughs> and I knew I wasn't gonna like pay and get like a really good AI thing, you know, that makes actually intelligent images. I was gonna go to some piece of shit open source, you know, fucking web browser AI and have it make an image for me. And I had, like, a feeling that might end up being hilarious. And then, <laughs> so I find this, like, you know, free uh, image thing, right? And um, I try to put in pregnant Zafina Tekken bowling, but... <laughs> the AI thought that pregnant was too explicit. Like, maybe I was trying to look at, I don't know, some sort of uh, hentai shit, you know? So it told me that I couldn't put pregnant in for a prom. So I don't, I'm like, what do I do? So I ended up, I ended up putting in. <laughs> the prompt I ended up putting into this scuffed AI was, because I couldn't put pregnant, right? So I put fat Tekken girls bowling. 
and and the thumbnail that you see right there is what the AI came up with, and I'm <laughs> and it's fucking perfect, dude. It's fucking perfect. Oh my god, that is too good. If you look at the faces, you can kind of see one of them's like trying, one of the mutants is like trying to be Azuzena, and another is kind of trying to be Josie. But like half of Anna's face is like grafted on the side, like a fucking Picasso, dude. <laughs> oh, so I love this stream title and this stream thumbnail. And if you guys don't like it, then you're haters. It's that simple, dude. GG's. Round one. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to show it to you guys, so don't ask me. But I was playing around with this, like, low-quality, cheap fucking... <laughs> AI image generator that I found and I don't know why maybe it's just what was in my heart, but I <laughs> I put in a uh, main man sweet <laughs> And like main man sweet Tekken <laughs> But I'm not gonna show you the pictures, okay Cuz you guys are haters I didn't put in pregnant, <laughs> pregnant main man's we tech in bowling. No, maybe I should. <laughs> I'll show you some other great images that came up when I was playing around with this for like thumbnail material. Because you know I'm like really scared of AI. It's like my least favorite thing that's happening in the world right now. I'm terrified of it. So I've like never used an AI. I've never even used Chat GPT really. I just know what it is, you know. Uh, but turns out uh, AI is funny as fuck, so it's winning me over a little bit. Because you guys know I'm all about uh, laughing, right? I'll show you guys another image I made that I'm going to use for a thumbnail next time, okay? <laughs> this one's too good. This one is hella good. I'm gonna use this for a thumbnail. I should like try and get some uh, like my own face or something in there. Or maybe Harada, dude. <laughs> AI is funny as fuck, dude. I'm super on board now. Let them take over the world, dude. It's pretty great, right? Get ready for the next battle. 
Yeah, it's it look it looks like Sasuke, but it also looks like Noctis. They mixed the two characters. <laughs> Tenen. <laughs> Tenen eight. Agreshibuhada. You guys having a good day too? I just started streaming and I've already laughed my ass off, dude. I'm having a great day. Get ready for the next battle. It's a Lars. You gotta watch out for the lows. That's really all you have to do. See? 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 Hey, Frame, you were supposed to look out for the lows. It's not a guard break, don't worry. Okay, I know it doesn't look like it, but this guy's actually free. I'm not joking. Check this out. Like, I've seen everything he can do now. That might work, actually. Alright, good for you. <laughs> okay, he's gonna do it, isn't he? Hey, I was rooting for you, dude. Well done. That was crazy. Well done. The momentum shift? Yeah, well, he got it back. Oh, he left? Oh, no. Ready for the next battle. Is plugging still a thing? Yeah, I got plugged on by my first win of the stream. Uh, by a guy called Lever. So, yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty much still a thing, dude. It's pretty much still a thing. But, you know, whatever. Get ready for the next battle. I think Namco wants to uh, let all the cheaters use the Tekken store before they ban them, you know? So they just gave them a little, like, slap on the wrist this time. Okay, that's cheap. That's super cheap, dude. He got me with the piss clone. I should have predicted the piss clone. Oops. 
song. Classic Zafina stance play, dude. That's what she, she used to be good at. But when she had more moves, that whole like thing was so much more powerful. She lost so many good options. The ones I missed the most are really uh, Scarecrow Pro 3 3, which I killed good players with all the time. And uh, up forward 1 plus 2 to let me use more Tarantula. Can't believe I'm like beating Bushins with Zafi now, dude. She's trash, but she's she's uh, kind of fun when you get into this new weaker version of her, I guess. Piss clone right away? No, he's hanging on to the piss clone. Here it comes. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Okay. Damn, that's such a big mistake right now. This was going so well, too. We can still get him. We can still get him. Too many piss clones. Oh, that's so crazy. I had him wrapped around my little thingy. And then he just did so many cinematics in a row. I couldn't keep, keep track of all the cinematics, dude. There was like 15 cinematics. What do you want me to do? Fucking Lord of the Rings extended cut, dude. Round one. Fight. <laughs> fucking combos are so fucking long. I don't remember some of the characters in his combos. was a choke. Hey, fuck you, Snake. I know. Okay? <laughs> I know! <laughs> what do you think? I I thought I was being epic and the you lose thing only came up uh, for funsies, dude? I know I fucking choked. Don't talk about it in the chat. Some of these scrubs might not have noticed. Okay? You don't have to tell them. The armor, the armor from the heat. It's a good match. Oh no, the Spagooters! Ah, the Spagooters. <laughs> it's panicking into the fucking different parries and backswing blows, dude. You scared? Okay, okay. He got me. Fair and square. <laughs> oh, 
dude. This character's fucking stupid, dude. Raven's fucking stupid, dude. Well played. <laughs> hey, GG's, dude. That was crazy. Get ready for the next battle. You should stream low latency mode. It is low latency mode. It's not tiny latency mode, but what's the point in like buying this good computer and like trying to have really good video quality if I can't stream it, you know? It would be great if she had a 14 frame launcher. Well, you know, she used to. Fight. Why do I have to fight a Bushin Leo for my promo? That's so brutal, dude. Give me a break. Okay. Sidestepping is useless against Leo, apparently. Oh, nice. Oh, you're so lucky! I kicked his ass, dude, and then he got fucking lucky with dumb, uh, broken dog shit. Hey, well played. Ooh. That was so close. All right. We can do this. Oops, ha ha ha. Beating Bushins. Let's beat him again. Oops, ha. Okay. Sure. Round three. Fight. Fight. 
Homing move, that's smart. That's smart. Oh, get so fucking cooked. Oh, Uxam. Hey, good games. Get owned. Get ready for the next battle. What's the opposite of an electric? Opposite of an electric is a down forward one. The opposite of uh, an electric is a down forward one. It's as f as fast as any move should be in its class. It has the impact speed you would expect. It's only as good as the player who is applying it. It's essential, but nobody can call it overpowered, strange, or complicated. It's 100% pure tech and honesty, dude. It's not flashy, it's not big, it's not sweaty. The opposite of the electric is a classic down forward one, dude. Well, you guys don't like the thumbnail? Or the title? Well, I just told the story of why I it's like that. I'm not gonna tell it again. Everybody else will have to hear it twice. You guys ever think of that? That's punishable. Easy. It's gonna waste all of his heat.
You guys see me dealing with chainsaws, right? This is a good player. I wasn't lying, you can just deal with them. He's already out of heat. Good move, though. Nice hop kick, dude. I thought it was so over. If he makes this comeback, I'm gonna marry this guy. That would be awesome, dude. Oh! Ho -ho! All right, we're still going. Okay, he's getting me, dude. He's getting me. Haha, <laughs> he hasn't taken him away yet. Good choice, good choice. Alright, alright. Alright, he's partying. Oh, I meant if you won the entire match, I was gonna marry him. Not that round. He obviously had a good shot in that specific round. Oh, that's a weird choice right there. While standing to? Good walk, good walk. Good walk. choice. Another weird choice by him. <sighs> weird choice again. Nice. Okay. Alright. Alright. Congrats on getting gay married. Hey, thanks, dude. <laughs>
He got me. Fuck, I kicked his ass so hard. I really taught this guy how to play Tekken while fucking showing him the world. Like fucking Aladdin on the flying carpet, dude. I fucking changed his life and he fell in love. That's how much I was fucking owning this guy on six different levels. But then, you know, he did a raid shard and Harada's fingers shot straight up my asshole. Um, but, you know, whatever. Good games. Almost would have been so fucking delicious, dude. This guy is so scared of me, it's crazy. Really? I guess that works. I didn't know that works. Well played. Get ready for the next battle. Never do Scarecrow during Rage. Good point. Good point. But I had to do Scarecrow to access my, uh, you know, my killing low. And it, it would have hit right there if he didn't do the Rage Shark. And it would have won the game. GG, that was me. Oh, good games, dude. Good games. Nice, Elisa. Not as nice as mine, but nice, Elisa. Hey, what well play, dude? You got me with the raid chart. Oh, damn. It's Michael Murray's Excel sheet in the chat. Dude. Top player coming through. Hey, what's up, Excel sheet? Got any names on you today? Have you sent them to uh, your daddy yet? Through Twitter? Hey little dev, is your daddy home? Is he gonna let you all alone? I got a bad desire <laughs> that's 
That's me singing a Bruce Springsteen song about K Katsuhiro Harada trying to have sex with an underage Michael Murray, I guess. Just one of those old rock songs that are clearly about a very old man trying to sleep with like a very young woman. You know, there are a bunch of songs like that. She was only, you know, she was only 16, you know what I mean. And I, I'm just like, no, I don't. I don't know. Hey, don't wink at me like that. It's like when Harada's like, I'm not going to tell you how old Kunimitsu is, but let's just say she's in high school wink wink. I'm like, don't wink at me in that context. Don't fucking implicate me in your fucking weird uh, character design fetishes, Harada. Okay, nice. Okay. Okay. Sure. Me a Springsteen fan? Sure. Why not? I hate Thunder Road. I think it's one of the worst songs ever. Whenever he gets a bit square dancey, I'm fucking out, dude. I'm so out. Come on, everybody. Keep it rocking now. I'm like, holy shit. And I can just see the people square dancing, dude. That's not my jam, but he has some... He's got some bangers. I like the wrestler. I like... I guess I like I'm on fire. I don't know about Born to Run. The jury's out on Born to Run. The River is a good song. The River is a good song. Then his later albums like Magic and, you know, The Rising. Uh, to me, not the highlight of his career. It's literally more of the same, but none of his best stuff. Oh, I thought he was going to do down back four. I'm going to die now. Good choice. Dancing in the Dark, yeah. Dancing in the Dark is a good song. Dancing in the Dark is good and Brilliant Disguise is even better. Uh, Brilliant Disguise is very good. I hold you in my hooves. You know, that's how it starts with that very sort of, there's a very 80s type like um, uh, synth sound to Brilliant Disguise. It's one of the songs that gets the most country out of his, but I still like it. Even though it gets a bit, like I said, square dancey. Dancing in the Dark is very good, though. I agree, I like Dancing in the Dark. Finish the string over to one right away. Can't start a fire. Can't start a fire without this fire. This gun's fire. Even if we're just dancing. In. Yeah, it's a good song. Oh, Philadelphia is a good song. That's a good Bruce song. It's not like an emblematically a Bruce song, but that's one of his best. It's the same way, like, I am, I'm a big fan of Michael Jackson. But my favorite Michael Jackson song, like, I'm not, a, I'm not that big a fan of, of Bad or Thriller. Or Billie Jean, really. I mean, that sound is always going to be, like, so Michael that, you know, it's hard to not love. I did Scarecrow against an opponent in Rage again, but... Dude, I love uh, 
Sylvia from Sopranos is in the band, yeah. Stevie, yeah. But like my favorite Michael Jackson song, so I think number one for me is Earth Song. I don't know if that's a weird pick, but it's so Michael. And like the last two, three minutes of the song is just him fucking vibe into harmonies, dude. Earth Song is great. He's one of those, I mean, it's like, you know, it's a lot like, uh, like U2 for me. U2 have, like, periods where I, I, like, haven't been interested in them at all. And then there are certain albums, certain songs where I, like, really get why U2 are as big as they are. You know who else I, I feel like that about? A band that I've grown to, like, really like in, in later years. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. They have some of their there's a Their debut album is called one hot minute and if you listen to one hot minute, it's like on YouTube You can listen to it right now um, It doesn't have that you know sort of spaced out sort of surf uh, Comedy to it that it has in like, you know, the more commercial albums that came later It's actually kind of like dark and dirty, you know it like feels like something that was recorded in like a hot garage and it's it's just really good. It's like some of my favorite stuff of theirs. And then the Red Hot Chili Peppers have had some like real bangers in like the last few years. So I guess like their main period in the middle, you know, when they were just writing songs about California all the time. Uh, I'm not a, that huge a fan of, but like everything before and after is great. It's, it's, you know, it's the same with Gorillas. Gorillas, like, I hate Clint Eastwood. Fucking novelty song. I mean, it's so fucking trash. I mean, I cannot believe Clint Eastwood became that big. And a lot of, like, the really big um, Gorilla songs, I mean, Melancholy Hill is, like, huge for them, but it has one of those awkward, shitty fucking rap interludes that it just doesn't need. I hate it when they do that on Gorilla songs. They did it on uh, Clint Eastwood as well, and it was, like, one of the worst ones. You're like trying to jam to this sort of weird EDM sort of vibe that they have and then all of a sudden it's like shitty fucking rap for like two verses and it's like it's I've never listened to like a gorilla song and been like damn bars you know no fucking bars it's always like some I don't know some fucking DJ or something I don't fucking know um, but then gorillas have like some really great songs mainly the ones without shitty rap interludes you know Foo Fighters, best of you, really? Foo Fighters, I think. The the Foo Fighters song that like everybody thought was so awesome that all the the kids got like obsessed with uh, around my parts was Learn to Fly. Where when they have Tenacious D in the video and they accidentally put drugs in the coffee and like half the cast is played by Dave Grohl. But I listen to it now, and it's just teen rock, you know? You liked those Foo Fighters songs the same for the same reason you liked, you know, much more, like, emo-y stuff. But, um... I mean, even, like, Panic! at the Disco ha has, like, a couple of bangers that you can't, like, you can't deny them, even though you might want to. Brendan Yuri has that weird whiny voice. It's actually very appealing. Brian Yuri's voice is great. The rap part carried Clint Eastwood. It's fucking trash, dude. Fucking hate it when they have uh, shitty rap verses in. Uh... And obviously, okay. And I, I don't know how old you guys are, but if you're like weebs of my generation, you obviously, obviously love Everlong by the Foo Fighters because there was like a very famous uh, anime music video, which was like back in the day, people would like 
because like people didn't even know about video editing back then you know this stuff was new like video on demand was new and people would like cut up epic parts of anime and put it, put it to music and make their own music videos and there was a really really famous one f from for like um uh this anime called um flcl and flcl is just this like you know Typical studio gynax coming of age young boy, you know sexuality thing. It's you know, it's, it's sort of a Catcher in the right type thing, but for like anime weeps, you know, it's like you have to Read it when you're like 19 and have epiphanies or younger. I mean, I'm 16 or something. I don't know when I saw FLCL, but I was probably like 13 14 and dude, you th that everybody thought that was so epic that show. I don't know if it was good, but everybody was like, "This is amazing." And they listened to the acoustic version of Everlong by Foo Fighters. <laughs> Damn. But those were uh, honestly some of the best anime like moments I had growing up. I mean, you look back at it now and it probably isn't nearly as appealing because it's so obviously made for like young adults. It's the same thing with that fucking... And I don't know how you're supposed to say it even though I've been a weeb for like better part of 25 years. Um, Evan Evangelion or whatever. But it, they have these like fucking surface as level biblical references and stuff to make it up. And there's the fucking Kabbalah in the intro of the anime and stuff to make you feel like it's all this like super epic stuff, right? Um, but I don't know. Those Studio Gainax shows were actually pretty fun. There was one called uh, uh, Die Buster, which was about like pink robot girls in the sky, you know? The, the, really, the one of the funniest ones they ever did, Gainax, was uh, it was called Abenobashi Maho Shotengai, and it's about uh, if you've never been to Japan, right? If you go to um, any major city, or especially like out in suburban areas in big cities, they have these places called uh, uh, Shotengai, which are like uh, Shoten is just a store, and Gai just means town, so it's like a store town. But it's like a traditional Japanese uh, shopping arcade or mall, but it's like one street with a glass roof typically. Uh, and they're still around, but nobody goes to them and they're like falling apart and there are only one or two stores open. But they're dotted all around the suburban areas in Japan and I've hung out a lot in like, you know, abandoned sh <laughs> Shotengai. But the that anime is about a short thing in Osaka that leaps through time and it's about two kids who have like a bogus journey through time. I remember there being a, a funny American character in it who went... <laughs> it was like a Japanese stereotype of an, of an American cowboy and he runs up and he goes, Hey fucking boy, fucking girl! Do you want some fucking hamburgers? <laughs> I thought that was funny. I showed it to my American friends and laughed at them, but yeah. Joke's on me, because uh, America is awesome. In your experience, what's the character that has the nicest fan base? I mean, I think... Oh... Lee players are kind of cool. I mean, some are bitches, definitely, but they tend to, like, you know, be just these, like, goofy nice guys who like uh, Lee, you know? I guess I never concerned myself which, with, you know, which has the best. I know which has the worst. I mean, the Kazuyas, the Bryans, the Marducks. These are the people who will, like, you know, key charge until they loosen and they plug, you know? That level of, like... BM.
Damn, I got owned. Yeah, Gainax had some wild anime, dude, and they were all about, like, being, like, a young boy and then meeting, like, older women and, like, discovering your sexuality in a dark way and then everybody, like, turns into angels and, you know, you metaphysically fuck your mom or something. They were all like that, you know? It was, like, they were all fucking directed by Hideo Kojima, you know? But, um... They were a trip, dude. You had an Elisa player plug on you? Damn, well, there was this famous guy who I'm pretty sure was a cheater, but I never knew. He just played like somebody who like, didn't know anything, but he had this wild style. His name was Omid RA. And I would like see him get demoted or like demote him myself in rank. And then he'd show up at like Tekken, like TTG again the next day. Um, so, I mean, they're out there. I was gonna say, Paul players have like a surprisingly like respectful and calm community because it's kind of like i just assume that all paul players are children so i mean you know and not like 12 year olds i like paul players to me i assume that they're like eight so they probably don't even know bad words yet but then i remember that there are guys like you know i mean there are hella key charging pauls right and fucking tonic is out there last time i played against him somebody from his chat came in and, and said Hey, Tonic says he doesn't play against losers. And I'm like, dude, you took the rematch. <laughs> what do you mean? I played him again recently and uh, I won, by the way. So, yeah. get on. GG's. Do I know about uh, Lee's giant bulge in the Tekken 4 concept art? Um, yeah, I, re I remember that art piece, and everybody's like, damn, why does Lee have such a huge sweaty hog in this uh, photo? But I always thought it was weird, because it doesn't look that big. I don't know, I mean, I haven't compared dick size with you guys, but if you think that looks huge, I don't know, man. It looks kind of average to me. Um, what's your favorite Tekken stage music? Mmm... I've always really liked Formless Like Water from Tekken 5. And then the traditional song, when me and my friends, who I like learned Tekken alongside with, when we had like an epic final match of the day, uh, we would always uh, do it on the Indonesian stage, uh, Wayang Kulit uh, in uh, Tekken Tag 2. And the song that plays on that stage is very epic, and it, get, it gets progressively more epic. It has like drops, and it's called... Um, uh, abyss of time so whenever we had to have like an extra epic match we always had it on that stage because we love the music you know and it would go to final round and then the drop happens those days were so sick so I guess maybe that's the one that's like in my heart the most there are a couple of those te Tekken 7 ones that I really like the second jungle stage music I think is very good the one that came out in like season 3 or 4 I also like uh, Elisa's theme from Tekken 6. It's so, it's so arcadey and Tekken-y to me.
should have known. He likes that panic move. Wow, what a combo. Damn, Law has crazy combos in this game. I need help, the Tekken 7 PS4 tournament is coming, and Joey Fury randomly signed up. Don't worry about it, just go play him, and now you have the experience of having played such a good player in tournament. You can only learn from it, dude. You might win! Formless like water, yeah, it's very good. It's also very Tekken-y. Back 1 plus 2 sometimes beats Raid Shard. Alright, I'll try it next time. It is a good round ender anyway. It's just that you need to get into Scarecrow now, you know? Okay. Best move in the game. Strings are so OP. They really are so OP. Like it's fucking Azusena level string cheese on top of everything else. damage as well. Jin's fucking damage and his range and properties and heat and impact speed and counter properties and lows. And combos. Range does that fucking health sweep have, dude? Float shot right here. Ooh. 
I used the heat dash because I had a feeling he was going to eat that engager. So I used the heat dash to turn it into a launcher, dude. Get owned. Oh no. He's so scared, dude. He's playing so fucking scared right now. Ah, so close, so close. One frame up from like getting him. Oh, you're so scared, dude. Why are you playing this scared? I'm better than you? Alright, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, I'm dead. Look at the fucking damage, too. Oh, I'm alive. I'm, I can still do this, probably. If he doesn't have some sort of Oki here. Okay, fair enough. Demon Paw is the best move in the game. Fair enough, dude. Demon Paw's too fucking good, dude. Demon Paw's too fucking good for all the characters that have it. That combo works. I'm super happy I found that. You really can't do Scarecrow against people in Rage, huh? It's crazy.
Nice job. We got him in the end. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> you actually did it. Hey, thanks for liking the title, Flank Jacket. These guys have been haters in the chat. They don't like it. Why is Zafina combo damage so low? Yeah, that's my question, dude. They really need to improve it. It's very, very low. It's like the lowest. Round one. Fight. No. Lucky bitch. Well done. This guy has failed three running twos in a row, dude. You can get to this rank with Dragonov and not even know how to do running twos now that they've removed the execution barrier of running twos. All you have to do is know how to count to three. How the fuck are you fucking that up? Let me know when he's done. What a fucking useless cocksucker. For Tekken King rank, that guy was a fucking uh, good player. Hey, well played. Nice, uh, nice uh, dragon off, dude. Cool 10 string there at the end.
This game's trash. So, if I can beat Tekken King level Dragonovs, then there's no reason I can't get Emperor on Zafina right now. Thanks for liking the thumbnail, guys. What do you mean it's a nightmare? Don't you guys like Tekken girls? Bowling? Down to forever. He's doing all the broken dragon off stuff now because he's scared. Oh, that's so broken! He can get that after up forward four on the stage? That is incredibly broken! That is so broken!
He had to fucking corpse kick and jerk off right there. Even though I'm playing the game's worst character against the most broken and I'm two ranks below you, you feel the need to fucking jerk off when you beat me. Do you know what that says about you? You know that you don't deserve your fucking rank and that it could fucking sodomize you until you cried on pretty much any other character in the game. So, you know, nice little corpse kick, dude, but, you know... You're kind of just betraying your own virginity to the chat. And uh, nice dragon, I'll go play it. Did you hear the fucking stores glitching and people save and deleting their progress? Yeah, I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Tekken store, dude. Holy shit. I, uh, I'm not even gonna talk about the Tekken store video I saw today. I laughed my ass off, dude. I couldn't believe it was real. Most of power low. Look at the damage of his fucking low parries. And he rage charted! For no fucking reason other than to waste time, dude. I need to beat this guy because he's playing like the most fucking pathetic cocksucker in the world, dude. Fucking hell. Why no Raven? Well, I've always been interested in Raven, but never really like taken the plunge. But I think Raven in this game, doesn't he just fucking stand around and shoot clones and it's fucking lame? I don't know. I kind of liked him before the whole clone dog shit stuff. Fucking Jin, dude. What the hell? If you're gonna corpse kick, at least fucking stick the corpse kick, dude. Don't fucking whiff the corpse kick. Ability of that crouch dash uh, launcher to hit ground it. And the fucking hell sweep do. Fuck is wrong with gin players? How the fuck do you stomach playing something this pathetically overpowered and perfect at everything, dude? I mean, there literally isn't a single thing that Jin is isn't the best character in the game at. He has the optimal and like most fucking maximized everything. Should be banned. Devil Jin should be banned from all that. And normal Jin. I could have won right there. Still got it though. Fight. 
fucking axe kicks too. Such poor game design. Just come over here, dude, and do a fucking press a win button. And we'll see if I can deal with it. You know? Just get over here and press a win button. I'm tired. I can't just run around like looking at your broken moves all day. I'll just wait for you. Dude. I'll just wait. I'll just wait for you to come over here and do your win button move. There you go. Down two. That's a win button. It's cool that you know how to backdash like in between rounds, but how about you try it inside a fucking match? It might fucking help, you know? It's better than you think backdashing during a match instead of just demonstrating the fact that you've learned it in practice mode in between rounds. Buffs will Zafina get? Hopefully just massive damage on her uh, claw moves. That's what she needs. She needs a massive damage buff on her claw moves. That's really the biggest change she needs. Especially Cursed Crow. Yeah, fucking cook, dude. Well played. They'll nerf Zafin out of spite. I think they've already done that. They can't really nerf her anymore. Like, how could she possibly get worse? Broken move. Broken move, broken move, broken, broken move. Only doing the broken lows. And teabagging, key charging. What a fucking. I mean, I've never been as sure in my life that my opponent is 12 years old. I've never been as convinced that my opponent is an actual fucking 12 year old, dude. Actual fucking 12 year old. I almost want to give it to him just because I feel sorry for him. He's going to fucking spill his apple juice and cry to his fucking mom if he, I don't give him these points. gonna spill his apple juice all over his fucking uh, diaper, dude. Yeah. Keep cheating. Keep cheating. Keep doing actual fucking win buttons. The most broken lows in the game. Keep doing them. Run up and do a broken low. Come on. Fucking lows, dude. The fucking lows. Shouldn't whiff like that. Good for you, dude. What a fucking piss-drinking little shit-eating bitch this guy is. Fucking, this guy is like the, the coolest fucking kid in seventh grade in his fucking... 
Nice. Never mind. Well played. Nice, Jim. Imagine if you played hitbox. Why the fuck would that matter? Why would I block more lows because I used a hitbox? I think you guys are too fucking sold on that controller. It can't be that good that it blocks Get lows for you. Make Jin actually execution heavy? I mean, you could just nerf the ever-loving shit out of all his broken stuff, and that's fine with me. I don't care how fucking hard he is to use. He can't have those lows. He can't have Demon Paw. He can't have Ford for. He can't even have his electric. He definitely can't have that axe kick. He can't have that 10 frame block punish. They all need to fucking go. It's cheating. It's actual cheating. the safe hop kick that hangs in the air for two minutes dude or fucking safe hop kick i've always hated that move then again I've, anina is probably my least favorite Tekken character of all time at least from an opponent perspective i think nina is the worst she's the worst Maybe in this game, in the last game, it might have been Kunimitsu or Marduk, to be honest. I think both Kunimitsu and Marduk were more cancerous than Nina, by a long shot. That fucking limp hand launcher, dude, it's so broken. It's so fucking full screen hitting safe mid launcher, dude. With all that low crush? What the fuck were you thinking? Fuck this Nina, dude. Suck 18 dicks, dude. Well played. Jin still has shit win rate in T8. Yeah, but so does Reyna. It's because all the actual eight-year-olds pick that character. Because it's the obvious choice, but they don't know anything. And then there's a billion of them going online, sucking ass at matches and getting fucking clapped. But it says nothing about any half-decent rank. You have to look at a certain rank enough if you want to know what the, the win rate of the character is. Those guns are broken. They need to nerf the damage. Oh, my hop kick strange. My hop kick's trash. You guys fucking cheating while fucking sitting on five dicks. Fuck Nina, dude. What a fucking joke character for little bitches, dude. Not even big bitches, dude. Small fucking bitches. stand it. The, the thing she does, that thing, it's always been like my least favorite thing in Tekken. When I look at it, I imagine like somebody 
playing with their face and screaming, and I get stressed out, and I feel like I should send an ambulance to their house. Because they're about to die from sheer fucking being a bitch. It's like elemental bitchhood, dude. It's like the, they're the fifth element is this guy's fucking bitchness, dude. That's how fucking epic it is. It's hard to hit a grounded opponent, right? Oh, what a gigantic, cock-sucking, fucking useless bitch. Uh, well played. Nice Nina. Good games. Get ready for the next battle. Why are you hurting yourself playing Zafin and Ranked? Well, you know, I there's this and Elisa. They're the only two characters I want to play. There's nobody else that appeals to me. Maybe a little bit Shaheen, I guess, but you know, I already know how to play Zafin, so I don't have to learn. I played Mafakas before, he's good. Tried all the characters? Uh, kind of. I mean, the, the ones that I haven't tried I know about because they're from, you know, older Tekken games. And I know what's you know, changed with them roughly. But I haven't actively played all of them, no. Because there's no way I was gonna be like, oh man, Reyna's super sick after all. Let me main, you know, Reyna. That wasn't gonna happen, so there's no point in me trying her. Might win. Yeah. You win. Oops, Sam, that was sick. This guy got owned. I played Lily and Lars, next character to learn. Mm, based on those two? I don't know, Claudio.
Four 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 is fucking borkers, dude. Oh wow, really? Damn. What a bitch! Can you imagine me losing that round? What a gigantic fucking Jameson the giant bitch. This guy's the... The bitch. Cheating fucking asshole. Dude, what a fucking asshole you are. Do more lows, bitch. Holy shit. Who fucking taught you Tekken, bitch? Let's go again. Well played. Not launch. That's so OP. The range of the back four. Why hasn't it been nerfed? Fucking spammer bitch, dude. Just lose. It's easier for both of us if you just stop trying. Oh damn, four, four, four is too strong. Can't beat it. All oh, the range on back four. This move. I mean, this, this game is trash. This game is trash. This game is fucking trash, dude. Nice. That was nice.
Damn, GG's. Fuck this guy. Hey, what's up, LK Maid? Do you like the title? Do you like the thumbnail? I put, uh, I couldn't put pregnant tech and Zafina into the AI image generator uh, because pregnant was too provocative for it. So I had to, I put fat Tekken girls bowling, and that's how I got this image. It's pretty good, don't you think? Big damage for you. Leers are still fucking doing down 3 2 in Tekken 8. Isn't that crazy? That fucking joke low that fucking ruined the internet when he came out. They've never removed it. I guess maybe they think it's fine. Almost had you, bitch. You scared? He's scared. It's okay. Dude, this character is still fucking stupid. This character is still fucking stupid. Fuck, dude. Never fall for it anymore! What the fuck is this, dude? Everybody's just doing safe shit, not getting hit by anything. I'm about to get really fucking bored with this game, dude. Come on. Hey, well played. Do more tarantula bullshit? Well, there's no good way of accessing tarantula anymore. They kind of killed the stance by removing all my favorite transitions. There aren't any good ones left. So you never end up in tarantula. I guess you have to go into it manually, like Ren the Dragon. Fuck, I can't believe I'm losing to this fucking shit-eating fucking Raijin as Leroy, dude. Doing lows. Oh well. Nice down 3 too. the most fucking pathetically broken dog shit ever in the fucking game. I mean, the reason the fucking game became unplayable. Fucking online ruined, offline ruined, the entire fucking Tekken community doing nothing but drinking piss. Straight out of fucking the cock of Namco's marketing department. It's all that down 3-2. And you're still fucking doing it in Tekken 8 like it's not a fucking sin. I know why you're called fucking sin, dude. Because using down 3-2 in 2024 is fucking sin. You're fucking guilty. There's a circle in hell for people who use fucking uh, Leroy's down 3-2 ever. There's a fucking circle in hell for you guys.
Nice whiff punish. Orbital do the great equalizer. Orbital is the great fucking equalizer. Nice duck. Why the fuck did you recover so fucking fast when whiffing? Oh, I don't have. It's not 14 anymore. It's 15. Maybe that's what I felt. They fucking made it 15. How fucking dare you, Namco? How fucking bad are you at this shit, dude? Why the fuck is it 15? Why the fuck isn't it 14? There's no fucking reason for it ever to not... Well, you know what it is? I'll tell you the entire fucking reason her launcher is 15 instead of 14. It's because they put the heat engaging properties on her down forward four string, which is 14. And they want you to use heat engagers. So instead of, like, making the heat engager, this thing actually fucking good. They nerfed the other option you had for 14. So you're relegated to this dog shit that doesn't even launch when you heat dash. Holy fucking shit, Namco, you incompetent bastards. Buff this character. Game's been out for way too long for now for her to be the shit. Hey, what's up, Saber TF and Lambkin? Trying to do electric and failing at it, so that's good. <laughs> Is that your back dash, dude? You're not doing it right. That's not what it's supposed to look like. See the difference? See how I don't stop in the middle of mine? <laughs> That's not what it's supposed to look like, dude. Demon Paw, dude. Demon Paw is such a god move in this shitty game. Damn, good for you. Good for you. That's not how you do it. <laughs> hey, dude. I mean, honestly, if you're sniping, look at this. See how I don't stop in the middle of mine? I don't have to duck twice. You're doing this. There are way too many inputs in your fucking backdash, dude. You need to clean it up. What a block. What a block. 
Look at his backdash! <laughs> Look at his backdash, dude! <laughs> and only between rounds, dude. Try and fucking learn how to do it and do it during a round. It's pretty good, you know? I mean, it doesn't really do its job when you only know how to do it in practice mode. Or, uh, I mean, you don't even know how to do that either, obviously, but... Demon Paw. And... Demon Paw. And... Demon Paw. And... Demon Paw. And Demon Paw. And Demon Paw. And Demon Paw. And Demon Paw. Work near the wall, huh? Round two. Fight. The tracking on that fucking low that he has. That he's always had that claw swipe. That's all the lows he needs. You can remove the house sweep. He really doesn't need to have it. He has that broken thing. The tracking on that is basically dragging off down too, right? Good job. Demon Paul. Demon Paul. What are you doing, dude? Come on, man. What are you doing, dude? Round three. Fight. Look at the whiff recovery! Did you see that? Did you see me duck the electric and get nothing? Oh my god, that is so crazy. The whiff recovery on this move is too crazy. Did you see the whiff recovery? Oh my god. This is Mishima Star's main, huh? Based on this, fucking fire him, dude. Holy shit. How did the raid shard not connect? It was obviously not going to connect. I wasn't in a combo of state anymore. I had touched the ground. Demon Paw. And... Demon Paw. Demon Paw. Demon Paw. Oops. <laughs> Beating Devil Jins now, that's not even possible. I'm doing the impossible with this character.
Beating devil gins like it's easy. Demon Paw, Demon Paw, only move you need. How are you gonna get this fucking own dude? Holy shit. On Devil Jin? GG's. right there. Demon paw, demon paw, okay, makes sense. Come on, man, the demon paw of your, like... Come on, man! That guy did hella demon paws, dude. That guy did hella demon paws. Oh, he plugged! Did you see? He plugged! He plugged too late, though. Alright, I still think I still got the points. Nice plug, though. I'm main Zafina now? Dude, that's sick, Snake. We're gonna get the buffs, dude. It's gonna happen. Four two. Four four two four four two four two. Which is basically demon paw. It's, see, it's basically demon paw for Reyna. Four four two. That moves fucking crazy. See? Four four two. It's her entire character. It's her entire character.
Okay. Fucking axe kicks on these Mishimas, dude. It's so broken. Oh god, no way, right? No way, right? Back one plus two needs a comeback. Yeah, it would be it would be good. It would be good if it just brought back the old version of it. Get ready for the next battle. Plugger insurance for Tekken coins? Yeah, they would totally do that. They would totally do that. That's hilarious. That's a great idea. You should tell them that. They're, they'll do it if you tell them. Dragonfly stance is so broken. The fact that the high is uninterruptible and that dangerous on block means that you have to duck. And then he has all kinds of mids, dude. That's a broken fucking stance. Yeah, so they didn't nerf his combos at all, and they're still fucking broken, apparently, so that's good. What? Come on, what the fuck is this dog shit? Fucking make a real character, Namco. Have you ever fucking made anything that wasn't dog shit eating fucking gimmicks? Apparently not. Fuck you, dude. Holy shit, what the fuck was that move? Fucking Victor dog shit on Yoshi. Fuck that move. Good games, dude. Let's go again.
Fucking flash abusing scumbag cocksucker, dude. Nice gimmicks, dude. Fuck you. L2P. What a fucking gimmick spamming fucking piece of monkey ass trash this guy is dude. Oh well played. Fuck. That guy was trash. Just kidding, dude. Well played. Man, I feel like playing a character that's in trash for a little bit. I wonder who I should pick. Do we get dark frame today? No. Only on screen. GG, so uh, that Yoshi was good. Should we try some Elisa, see what happens? We'll just try it. You had him scared? Mm, maybe a little bit. I'll try some Elisa, but what I really want to do is play more Shaheen, if I'm honest. Get ready for the next battle. Would you ever play Leo or Jack? Yeah, I, I would consider trying both Leo and Jack. They're characters that I might look into sometime. Sorry about that one. Hey, Ezra's uh, Canva Kuma. Don't be sorry, dude. Uh, thanks for kicking my ass. Well played. You know. I'm just complaining because I'm losing, dude. You did really well. Honestly, you did really well. That was clean, dude. Oh damn, it's a fucking uh, king right away. That's not good. Did they nerf king? No, they made him better, right? Never mind. Good job.
Good duck, good duck. Man, I wish this guy was playing a real character. Really? Fucking kings, dude. Better like standard poking than any poking character. The only character with overpowered grappling. The best heat of any character in the game. What the fuck were you thinking with this guy, dude? That's such an overpowered counter at low as well. Good block, though. Oh my god, this is it's impossible to play against. Everything he has is just too too much range, too fast, too good, too much damage. This is impossible to fucking play against. And that's the most damaging heat smash in the entire fucking game, and it hits grounded for no reason. Oh my god, this is unplayable. Sick duck though, this is unplayable. This is unplayable. This is unplayable. Remove King from the game. Kill anybody who's ever used him. Skin them alive. Fucking fuck them to death. Put them in a fucking pile and set them on fire. They're fucking cheaters. Fucking forever for this. Fucking forever for this. Like, even if he's a trashy, goofy piece of shit character in every game to come, I will hate him forever because of how fucking cataclysmically overpowered he is in this. Fucking forever, dude. Fuck every king player in the world and they're fucking assholes. Fuck them. So fucking hard. Dude. And good games. And good games. Look at this fucking joke piece of shit. Fucking cheating, dude. Look at that damage. That's the game breaking right there. That's the game breaking completely because of King. And the fact that his grabs take you in the air so you can't hop kick against them, that's so fucking dumb as well. Yeah, good for you, dude. Fucking alley kicks like a fucking six year old cocksucker fucking eating dick in a fucking alley, dude. For not that much pocket change. Well played. Oh, 
Oh god, you're so overpowered. I mean, you're so overpowered. Like, none of those moves are fucking okay. That fucking counter hit low. Remove it the day you release Tekken 8. You should have been like, oh my god, we're fucking incompetent morons. This move obviously can't be in the game because if it is, then the entire game is a joke. And we can't put it on Steam because it obviously can't be sold with this fucking low in it. It can't be sold with this cock sucking fucking low in it because if it is, then we haven't made a game. We've just jerked off in everybody's fucking faces and released a lump of fucking solid dog shit onto market. But they fucking left it in. Hey, good games, too. Nice king. Fuck this. Only takes one king to fucking ruin your evening, dude. It only takes one fucking king. What a fucking piece of shit Joe character. Everything is like a free, teleporting, armored, invincible death button for a death combo from full screen, and there's no execution. You just stand still and play with your fucking tongue, dude. Fuck every fucking king player in the world in the asshole until they fucking bleed to death out their asshole. And good games. King always sucks to play against. Yeah, but if before he was like a goofy piece of shit, kind of overpowered gimmick character. It was like Yoshi, but dumber. But now he just has the most overpowered tools imaginable, dude. Fucking hell, what a fucking joke that character is, dude. Will you do a devil gin guide on the 1st of April? I mean, I don't know. King is OP. Yeah, King is top three in this game, probably. And also, like, um, the most, like, on rails. And he's one of the characters that carries you the hardest in the entire game. It's an incredible carry character in this game. What a duck. I can't have been intentional at this rank, right? Oh, he did his version of the same low, which is the exact same low, but 18 times better. He doesn't have to do a sidestep. He gets a counter hit launch. It's just the superior version of this thing. He's ducking that on reaction at fucking 10 view rank? What the hell is going on? GG's. I should really learn Shane. He's so cool in this game. What a cool character. Sidestep duck like really beats that jumping attack. Oh fuck. It's crazy. This is like the lowest rank in the game, and this Jin is fucking playing perfectly. This Jin can't lose at any rank. 
How many hours do you have in this game? I don't know. It's a pointless thing to count. It's a pointless thing to count. But I, I might have uh, hundreds already. I don't know. Jin is unbeatable at any rank. It doesn't even matter if it's fucking low rank Jin. He's still just rotating win buttons, dude. That's fucking crazy how overpowered this character is. This is the most overpowered character in the game, right? Jin, what a fucking joke. Nice key charge, you fucking cock-sucking bitch. Learn a real character. What the fuck is wrong with you? What an embarrassing little bitch you are. And well played. All right, I'm supposed to use uh, that move. It's back four. Oh, no, that's the steel pedal. That's not the back four. It's the back three I need to use, right? Should not be guaranteed. This game's trash. Red rank Jin actually good. Well, I mean, he's playing all right. I would never like call a Jin player good, because I don't think it's possible to be good and play the character simultaneously. But he obviously, like, for somebody this rank, knows a lot more than the average person would at this rank. He's indistinguishable from somebody who plays at the rank I'm currently at with my main. But you know, maybe he's indistinguishable from a high rank Jin because all Jin needs to do is stand still and press his win buttons. You know. There is literally no game plan and there's no skill involved, even with making choices. Get ready for the next battle. <sighs> No Prey and Zafina, sorry. I mean, it's 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 there in concept. You're just looking at it the wrong way, dude. You're doing that too slow every time. Isn't it forward back two? It's back four two, sorry. Nice flash! I can't hit confirm it. There we go. Ah, oh, you got me! Well done. 
Jin received a lot of cheap stuff. I think he's the number one most broken character in the game. I think he's worse than Dragonov and King. But maybe that's a crazy theory. Ah, oh, so close. Damn. Well done. Trying to do like specific stuff, but I'm not getting it out. No. <laughs> This game is sick. This game is sick. Then the path to learning Shaheen seems really long, but sort of worth it because he's cool, right? Finally got a combo, so we're, we're making some sort of progress, I guess. Oh no, the counter hit. Oh my god, final round. 
This is uh, even. Okay, doing some slides, you know, starting to get it, starting to get it a little bit more. You guys have to teach me how to do the buffer slide in this one. My latest video did bad, I'm never editing that hard again. I'll check it out, dude, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll check it out. We'll see if we can get it some views, okay? Only if it's good though, I'm gonna see if it's good before I recommend it to anybody. Nice. You got me. Remember sidestep two? Hey, good idea. It's a good move. It's a broken move. Oh, I was almost in time. Man, is that combo hard or am I just like stupid? Really? Come on, man. <laughs> this game's trash. Well played. Messed it up. Messed up the input. Not good. You can't mess up that input if you're going to play this character. Playing real Shaheen for a while here, almost. You guys see that? Oh, he did the mid.
Nice, okay. I did his first! I did mine at the same time! Oh no! That was good though, that was good. Get ready for the next battle. Alright, Kai Creates, what's your latest video? You spend a lot of time on editing, huh? Haven't I taught you anything? Tekken's last rival. Dead or alive. Oh damn, it is uh, heavily edited. I'm gonna watch it a little bit without sound. Oh, I, I see what your problem is, dude. The reason the video didn't do well, I'm gonna give it a like though. Hey everybody, check out Kai Creates. He made a cool video on Dead or Alive. It looks good. Uh, the problem is this, dude. Uh, nobody gives a fuck about Dead or Alive. I, you know, I've, I've never thought of Dead or Alive ever in my life. Nobody cares about it. Forgetting the wall combo. I know what it is. Don't 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 uh, worry. I know what it is. Oh, that was the multi-hit one. Hey, nicely done, dude. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nice lows. Nice lows. Nice lows. Oh, I forgot my combo again. Not good. Is it forward back 2-1 or back 4-2-1? I keep forgetting. Okay, it's forward back. <laughs> and the throw as well. Dude. Nice dragon off. Yeah, I'm gonna get good with Shaheen. I'm gonna have him as a an alt in this game.
That works. That's probably even more. Whatever. It's good enough for now. Have you tried the replay fe feature? A little bit. I tried it twice, I think, total. Or one time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Get ready for the next battle. You're supposed to be able to distinguish all these attacks. They're supposed to be different attacks, you know. All of our attacks look completely identical. They really failed so fucking hard when they made her anime. Every attack she does looks identical to every other attack. You can never know what she's doing. never see what any of this is. It's just fucking endless, dude. Good for you, dude. Bard Beam's fucking overpowered and your character is a fucking joke. Like an overpowered stack of shit for people who are like tier horse and not even like good tier horse. Guaranteed Demon Slayer because the game's trash, yeah. Like this, you can't play against this. It's all it all looks completely identical. All these moves look look completely identical. You can't know anything about her moves ever. Everything is a string that just spins and does this with the hands. Even if it's a hell sweep with the feet, she's still spinning and doing this with the hands. Everything is indistinguishable. And it, and all of a sudden she just shoots a random beam of light that launches as well. It's the worst fucking character I've ever fucking seen designed, dude. It's it's failure. It's after birth, birth crawling in like cat shit, dude. Jun is uh, so fucking pathetic. See, you're supposed to know when the string ends, but you never can. Because you can alternate the number of hits and they all have like 15 hits. See that? I mean, it's a fucking joke. What a fucking joke character, dude. Jun is such a fucking piece of shit. I mean, you're a piece of shit if you play this character, dude. You're just a piece of shit. I mean, piece of shit character for pieces of shit. You fucking suck ass and like spinning around like fucking monkeys, dude. What a fucking joke character. Fuck this guy. Yeah, whatever, dude. Keep fucking spinning, dude. Keep fucking spinning and doing this. Can I please get out of here now? Like, I'd rather never play Tekken again than play for another second, if I'm gonna be honest. So I just wanna get out of here now? Can I just get out of here? Like, can you press your broken dog shit ass buttons a little bit faster so I can get the fuck out of here, dude? My main priority is not winning against you, it's getting the fuck away from you. Get it? All I want to do is get the fuck away from you. Nice. Great. Fantastic. Fucking fantastic. Perfect. Fuck out of my life. Salt level increasing? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Starting to get better at the combo though. Why did you rematch him? I uh, rematch everybody for the most part now. Sometimes when I'm very tired, I make exceptions. But it's a policy because like some fucking, you know, whiny bitches have opinions if I don't. It's whatever. 
but you know, like losing points and stuff in Tekken doesn't really matter. So if you just like stop thinking about it that way, it's kind of fine. And I actually don't lose more points when I rematch a lot. I actually tend to win more. Before I get up, okay. yeah. Time we uh, go surfing on Nina. <laughs> this rage art is really fun. The kick itself looks super sick. The kick itself looks good. It's just the wacky surfing, you know. Trash character, dude. Nina's a joke. Fuck Nina. Well played. Does Shaheen have a parry? He used to have a punch parry that, that he did this with his hands. Like a tiger thing. Round one. Fight. Does he still have tackle? Doesn't look like it, no.
Nice. Lucky panic move, dude. Nice. Nice Shaheen never had a tackle? Yeah, I don't think he had the ultimate tackle either. Miguel did and Paul did. So crazy, dude. <laughs> way too long in crouch. I mean, I guess it is funny how, even if you like get it blocked, it's not that unsafe. I mean, it killed me that time, I guess, but you know what I mean? Dude, he's playing so pathetic, in my opinion. I'm probably wrong. But I think he's playing so fucking pathetic and scared. I've never seen a Nina play like actual Tekken, so I, I don't think that's, you know, something that happens. Ah, come on. Keep cheating, dude. You still have E. Keep cheating. Keep cheating, dude. Well played. <sighs> Man. Like, it makes me want to stop playing Shaheen, but it's not Shaheen's fault. He didn't do anything. All that happened was I r ran into a Nina. And that always makes you a lot less enthusiastic about playing this franchise as anything other than an ironic joke. You know? Playing against Nina just makes you want to quit the franchise in hopes that it fails. And that everybody just abandons it. That's what it feels like. Hmm. Let's go back on Zafina for now. Oh god, fucking give me a break already. Holy shit. Is there a real Tekken player out there on, in online? Or has everybody just turned into a bunch of pointless Nina abusing bitches, dude? Or be mid mid. Oh, card.
What the fuck was that combo? Now he's just using like all the scrubby crutch strings that bad Ninas rely on when they can't win playing Tekken. He's just doing all of them in a row now. It's fucking embarrassing, dude. Fucking embarrassing the way you play, dude. Fucking embarrassing. Fucking embarrassing the way you play. I mean, you've sucked cock for like five rounds straight and then you're about to lose and you remember, oh, the way I got to Raijin in the first place was spamming this cancer string that should have been removed from the game in Tekken 1. But you know, good for you. Fucking take the points. Shove them up your pointless cunt and fucking, uh, you know, good games. Well played. This Nina's uh, really good. I'm trying to stand playing against him. Like, I'm trying to not fucking just give up on it. Alright, whatever. Be positive. It's whatever, dude. It's a fucking shitty game against the Nina. It happens every day. The blonde bomb she gets after Heat Dash is obviously broken. That's way too much damage to get right there. Obviously very broken. Good stream, yeah. It's a good stream. Too many Ninas, though. Too many Ninas, dude. Most overpowered fucking uh, combo in the game, pretty much. Broken guns. Should half the gun damage. That should not be mid mid or safe. What's up, Grand Shinobi? That move can't be that fucking safe, dude. That's crazy.
Oh, she got the back. This game's fucking broken trash. For fucking orangutans, dude. Fucking orangutan 8, dude. Orangutan game. Fucking orangutan game, dude. You need both your hands and feet to play fast enough in this game. Most broken move in the fucking game. I hate her limp dick fucking broken orbital loop. Fuck Nina's. Oh, if, if that's guaranteed, fuck this game forever. And everything about it. Fuck every character. Fuck the people who made this game. Fuck the entire community. If that's guaranteed, fuck this entire community. If that's guaranteed, fuck this entire game. Fuck everything about this game. If that's guaranteed, the blonde bomb right there. If that's guaranteed. Yeah, everybody should just fucking refund because the game's a joke. Damn, you kicked my ass at the end too? <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect finish. Hey, nice Nina, dude. Well done. You got me. Hey, thanks for liking the combo, dude. Get ready for the next battle. Can't believe she only gets 56 damage if she doesn't want to hurt herself. That's so bad. 59 if she does hurt herself. <laughs> 65 if she hurts herself once with that, I guess. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. You can find it on my community tab. Hey, thanks, dude. What a cool idea. Did you really? Can I look at it? Rehan Miller. Dude, you really did. Hey, that's awesome, dude. Let's look at it a little bit after I uh, beat this uh, shitty Raven. Still a combo? Raven's combos are broken, dude.
ultimate pregnant Zafina bowling. You really did, dude. Damn. And she really is pregnant. That's sick. And she has her Tekken 6 outfit. Thanks for making this, man. Do you mind if I take a screenshot? Does Frame Whisper not like rematch? Well, if you look at this stream right here, I've rematched every single opponent that I've uh, played against all stream. And I do that for the most part. But I don't consider it like uh, bad manners if you don't want to take the, the rematch. Just that people get really fucking sensitive about it. So I'm basically doing it because I'm failing like uh, to stand up to peer pressure pretty much. vast majority of matches now, almost all of them I always rematch for as, as many times as possible. Because, I don't know, people get really fucking butt hurt if you don't, so you have to force yourself to play matches you don't want to play to make other people who you don't know fucking feel better, I guess. Meanwhile, they're playing Devil Jin and Dragonov and, you know, want a fair fight against you. It's ridiculous, right? I want to see if this works. I want to see if... I want to get him to, like, a glowy wall. Because I want to... Ah, just let me get it. I want to see if it works, dude. I'm not trying to beat you. I just want to see if this works. This. And then... Can I blow the wall up? Ah, he died. I wanted to see if I could get that whole thing and then blow the wall up for a combo. That would have been super sick, right? It didn't rematch, connection was fine. Um, hey, yeah, uh, good games, dude. It might have been a session, because I've had sessions, dude, where I've been playing uh, Elisa, and it's like, I just need to, like, fucking get this promo so I can go to bed, and I play somebody, and I just don't enjoy the match for whatever reason, and I decide to, like, not force myself to take it. I do that sometimes. Uh, not these recent streams, but it was probably one of those days where I was just, like, eating shit against a lot of players, and I didn't feel like playing your Steve twice. But, you know, good games, dude. Who's the character you despise to play against? For me, it's uh, Nina. Nina's the worst. For me, Nina is the worst. But I also really dislike playing against Jin and Devil Jin in this game. Xiao Yu, I actually don't mind that much. I'm about to eat my words, though, aren't I? <laughs> Oh, I just realized I bought ramen. Do you guys want to eat some spicy ramen with me? If anybody out there has uh, ramen, it's not cup. It's not cup noodle. Don't worry. I'm not shilling for uh, Namco, unlike some people. But uh, <laughs> do you guys want to have some ramen together? <laughs> Forget I said that. Okay. Forget. Forget what I just said. 
<laughs> hey, I'm enjoying this stream, you guys. I hope you are, too. Oh, he blocked it nicely down. What a bait. You guys saw the bait, right? That was well done. Cheese on ramen? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to put cheese on mine. Mine is just regular spicy flavor. But I always add a bit of salt, white pepper, and a little bit of curry powder to my instant ramen. Uh, soup it elevates it Yeah, I don't mind Xiaoyu. Like, on Elise, I think I have a good matchup against her. On Zafina, the matchup is okay. If I can beat a Bushin, you know, it's, it's kind of fine. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mind Xiaoyu that much. Spicy Korean ramen. It's not Bulldak. I did have Bulldak, and I've, uh, but I've eaten all my Bulldak. I do love that stuff. It is spicy enough that it is painful, but it's also, re like, really delicious. I think the reason I bought spicy ramen because today was a really busy day at the office. So uh, I called in a colleague of mine, this like new hire we have, a um, young girl who, uh, or girl, you know, woman, who uh, was off that day. So I called her in to like support me. And we ended up talking about spicy food and how like, I think uh, I've read that there's like actual scientific research showing that uh, if you can't handle spicy food, it's because you have a low pain threshold and you're not good at handling like pain Which is also associated I think with low testosterone levels So if you're, you're like if you don't handle spicy food, you might get bald faster and stuff And she was like now that you mention it I don't think I want to date a guy who couldn't eat spicy food. It's just I don't know It's just kind of lame, right? And I agree Spicy food is the best, dude. Spicy is the best taste. Chicken and egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we eat uh, ramen here with my, uh, when my girlfriend's here, she'll, um, she'll actually pickle kind of some eggs. Like in the morning, she will take, you know, Japanese, you know, vinegar and, and rice wine and soy sauce and garlic. And uh, she'll, uh, put um, boiled eggs in that and just keep it in like a Ziploc bag with that juicy good stuff all day and then you cut it up and put it on your ramen dude and it's next level she bought some um, Ichiran ramen Ichiran is this like famous Ichiran I hate when I have to like you know pronounce Japanese in English because it's I don't want to jump whatever there's this place called Ichiran ramen and they're like a known tonkotsu ramen chain and she bought like a kit, make your own ramen at home from them. And we made it here. And it was, and she did, you know, 
the chashu, the meat slices that you get, the pork slices. She made those from scratch. Uh, she made uh, the eggs from scratch and everything. And then the only thing that we got from the box really was the soup, the stock for the soup. It was it was the best ramen I've ever had in my life. And I've had a lot of ramen, dude, because ramen's cheap, and I was poor, and I lived in Fukuoka, the city where Tonkotsu ramen was like invented. It's like the town of Tonkotsu ramen. You could go to like my local like uh, you know street joint and get good ramen for 340 yen. That's like two and a half dollars, dude. There's two spicy like jalapeno. Uh, jalapenos I eat. I can eat them like when I get them on. Uh, in Sweden you get jalapenos when you go to a pizza place. They put it on the pizza sometimes and they put it in the salad like whole jalapenos. And I'll just eat those like a snack dude. That's nothing. But you know it's a pepper and there are all kinds of peppers. There's peppers that you know you can't get in your eye or you go blind. I know. Isn't a chipotle just basically like a dried or uh, something? It's like a dried jalapeno, right? That's what a chipotle is. The Swedish love pizza. Yeah, pizza is crazy. Or pizza and kebab, which have become the same thing. Um, like most pizza places have kebab as well. And they also have kebab pizza, which is the king of Swedish pizzas. One like kebab pizza at my local pizza place that I loved growing up when I was a kid, you know. When we were playing outside and, you know, we were allowed to go get pizza. Um, it, it was 2,200 calories, one of them, which I think is pretty much exactly recommended daily intake for an adult male. That's crazy, right? Final round. This is a good match. Damn, we beat the Xiaoyu. GG's. Kebab pizza sounds foul, I'm not gonna lie. Don't worry, dude. I know it does. It's it's amazing. So imagine you have a thin a large thin crust pizza. And we have usually have really good uh, crust here. You can get sourdough crust and stuff, but it's thin. And then a layer of not very strong cheese, usually not mozzarella and tomato sauce. So it's just a basic pizza. And then the kebab meat, you know, that spicy good ass meat that you shave off of the skillet when you make kebabs. You just spread that meat on top of the pizza and then some sort of yogurt based sauce. It can be anything from like a spicy one to there's a place nearby me that do a spicy tomato sauce on top of the meat. And it's just it really works. There are some crazy places where they start putting vegetables and stuff in the mix as well, but that's not what you want to. Stop giving me hope for Zafina. I am sorry, dude. I didn't mean to inspire. This Leo is about to get a Tekken King promo, though. He's not going to be an easy uh, opponent to beat.
Nice, okay. That was low parry. Don't know why it didn't work. Probably because you can't parry uh, heat, heat smashes or whatever. Or can you? You definitely should be able to, that's for sure. Good punish. Oh, how do you fail that hard frame? That's ridiculous. Oh, just run up and fucking spam it out like a scared fucking five-year-old bitch. Hey, well played. Fucking hell, dude. Nice promo. Fuck my life. Hope this guy gets bone cancer. Hey, well played. Not be able to spin after the wasp plant. Broken dog shit. Bad game. Game's trash. Nice conversion. <laughs> nice. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy, dude.
I mean, her combos being literally fucking endless is crazy as well, right? Like, the fucking wall damage of Leo is off the fucking chain. I think this is a broken character. I think uh, I can't, can't pick up Leo because of the brokenness. It might be... It might be that level where you can't actually play the character because it's not okay. Hey, well played. Nice Leo, dude. Just taking Crash for anyone else? It's crashed a couple of times on me, I think. It's been stable for the most part, though. Came to ask what the stream name is. This stream name is a phrase that... Uh, bot, I think a Thai is a Thai bot. It has a, had a name in Thai, so a Thai bot dropped in my chat when I was uh, new new to streaming, and the bot said, "Transformers Dark Rising, pregnant Zavina Tekken Bowling," and it was the funniest comment anybody's ever come up with in my chat, so I uh, kept it. This guy is like really down jabby. I'm just gonna low parry some of his down jabs. And uh, the uh, thumbnail is uh, an AI because because the title I wanted to use was made by a bot. I wanted to have a thumbnail made by a bot as well. So I fed the phrase "fat Tekken girls bowling" into an AI, and it came up with the thumbnail that you're seeing. I think it's good. spamming now. Wow, really snake it spam? hand that's my excuse watch me make this comeback dude it's gonna be sick never mind <laughs> never mind oh i blocked it come on man why are you a snakeage addicted bottom of the barrel piece of shit player with no skill doing fucking snakeage just throws in unblockables because playing the actual game is too hard why are you the worst fucking thing? Why are you the lowest common denominator? 
Why are you the joke that people make about Tekken players? Why are you the reason this community is trash? Why are you all those things, dude? You could just stop being a show you snake edging piece of shit. You could just do real moves and play like a real person. You don't have to be this. <laughs> and good games, let's go again. That's my show you impression, dude. Just like cinematic fucking heat spam, 16 hit heat strings, and then as soon as they're gone, a couple more snake edges and throws. Man, I wish Tekken 8 had neutral. Do you have any idea how fucking owned all these players would get if Tekken had neutral? Doesn't anymore. It's just in heat everything. Come on, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Do something that isn't a launching throw or a snake edge or your fucking heat. Like, anything, dude. Fuck me. What a pussy bitch, dude. What a fucking pussy bitch. Embrace it? Yeah, that's good advice. I'm gonna embrace it. the boonga that's good advice Dragonov is from another planet. Yeah, Dragonov is, is fucking crazy right now. Fucking crazy. Dragonov is so crazy right now. That's not wrong. Get ready for the next battle.
Piss clone. Forgot about the piss clone. Forgot about the piss clone. Sorry. Left. All right. Ready for the next battle. Piss clone. Yeah, that's in the name of his rage smash, right? It's the piss clone. Give me the real. What do you think about the heat mechanic? Um, I think Namco knew that they wanted to put something that incentivizes aggression as a mechanic into the game, and they started coming up with heat, but didn't come up with. A way of implementing it where it integrates well with the game at large and it still doesn't um it he feels tacked on and uh it's also poorly balanced obviously if you didn't have heat in this game it would kind of just be uh, a very plain version of tekken and would it would have very little new stuff i guess it is important for the game to have some like important big new stuff it, it just that heat feels very tacked on and not well integrated. It's 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 another excuse for like not learning and just being a screw because on some characters you can just use your best moves, which are heat engagers, and then you get a heat engage because they're amazing moves. You know, dragon off back 3-4 or whatever that move is for example and then you just use the heat and you win and you never have to actually worry about like spacing or making good calls or you know whatever it's never not your turn I guess that's my thoughts on heat like there had to be something in the game but I wish it weren't this because it's kind of trash is also a fucking joke character he also never has to respect the mechanics of the game or even be aware of them he's a character that specializes in never not taking a turn and then whenever he potentially loses a turn he always has like a shitty trick for getting out of it like a built-in frame trap that he doesn't even have to construct manually a fucking parry a giant armor move a giant crush move or in this game his heat so law is built entirely around the idea that you never ever have to worry about what the opponent is doing or ever play any Tekken. You start taking a turn and then you take that turn until the match is over and your damage is overpowered and your move properties are overpowered and your frame data is overpowered. And the fucking slide is cancer. The fucking slide is mega cancer dude. See, this, see all this shit and nothing none of these strings that he's doing here none of it is uh, unsafe none of it is interruptible so you can just keep doing like 60 hit strings until he gets a hit inevitably nothing here is unsafe it's one of the safest characters in the game and he's built like a character that has to be super risky he takes no risks he takes no risks ever
See? Safe, 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 safe. And then you try and take a turn. And there's a built-in frame trap. He never has to construct the frame trap. It's always a built-in property of the string he's applying. So, he, you know, you, he, he doesn't even have to know frame data to set up frame traps. Fucking joke character. Law is a joke character. GG's. Chip and recoverable health, I don't hate. I actually think the chip and recoverable health is kind of working. And is kind of cool, which I didn't expect. I mean, it has all kinds of inherent issues because some of the moves right now that really need to be redesigned do chip damage when they really shouldn't. Some characters have chip damage that is too crazy, but... Chip damage overall as a concept is actually implemented quite well and kind of works. Heat for me feels weird and tacked on and not finished. Heat does not feel finished. Heat does not feel finished to me. Dude, what is happening? There's no way he did that combo with that much lag, right? He has to be lag switching. Because it's, it's definitely not lagging on his end if he's doing combos like this. He's not lagging on his end, no fucking way if he's doing combos like this. Is he actually a lag switching law? Holy shit. See that this entire thing is completely safe. You can't step out. It's got homing moves built in. And all these three hit strings. It's all mid, 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 completely safe. Mid, 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 completely safe. The safest character in the game. I don't fucking get it. Completely safe. Plus on block. Oh well, we got him. I feel like, honestly, uh, the way I'm playing Zafina now, I should be able to get Bushin and even Tekken King quite easily. That's what I feel like. I just, I'm getting bad matches and stuff and it's fine and I'm taking L's and I could definitely play better. But I feel like I'm beating like a bunch of Bushins playing strong characters. So, you know. In doubt, report him. No, it was probably just bad Neko, dude. I wish Raid Shot was removed. I think a lot of people feel like that, dude. I think a lot of people feel like that. Another Nina, my least favorite character in the game. Yeah, okay, it's pointless. He's just gonna do fucking strings and suck cock and be the most useless fucking moron who's ever played Tekken, and that's what he's gonna do. Run forward and do strings. Oh, this is so pointless. This is so pointless. This is so pointless, dude. Can we please not do this?
Look at the, look at him walking backwards. No knowing fucking movement, dude. Holy shit. The holding back, like a fucking green rank. What are we doing here, dude? The holding back? I guess he's battle ruler. Best cry ever. <laughs> that really doesn't do a lot of damage for combos. Think this guy's gonna plug? Oh, I didn't feel like that. Oh, it's a Lola Bunny custom. I don't know. I just got the, when I looked at this like tennis outfit Nina. I just had this image of the guy playing the character looking like like Tay Zonde. <laughs> That's what I feel like he looks like. Bars, by the way, on Tay Zonde. Bars, like unironically bars. Chocolate rain. Build a tent and say the world is dry. Chocolate rain. Zoom the camera out and see the light. That's fucking bars, dude. That's a sick rhyme. Get ready for the next battle. I still love you. Me. <laughs> That's how he laughs, or how he cries, I mean. Look at this float charting fucking monkey boy, dude. Look at the float charting monkey boy. Look at the float charting monkey boy, dude. The fucking elegant, the f the full screen hitting piece of shit, that elegant thing, that thing. I knew he was gonna do it, which is why I was sitting and duck, ducking it. But that thing's fucking insane, dude. Considering she has like you know the cartwheel and fucking launching mids from full screen, giving her that heat engager is craziness. Yeah, unplayable, unplayable trash game. Unplayable trash game. Fucking unplayable trash game. Lily's top three in the game. Holy fucking shit, what a pointlessly overpowered piece of shit fucking flowchart character for bad players. Fucking stop spending so much time in customization mode and learn some tech and you fucking lily bitches. Fuck you. Well played. Zafina does shit damage. Yeah, Zafina has the lowest damage of any character in the game, the worst properties of any character in the game, the worst heat of any character in the game, the worst punishment, unironically, actually, of any character in the game. Like in every department, she's the single worst character. I mean, she's so the worst character in this game that it's crazy. Like, no, nobody's as bottom tier as this. This is entirely a tier of its own. Yeah. 
I hope this guy loses his feet in a horrible wood chipping accident. And you can't step anything. She's like the least linear character in the game and she's known for being linear. And she's like the least linear character ever. She has homing jabs. Fucking broken uh, homing moves. She shits on linearity, dude. Overpowered. Overpowered. Well, we got a round at least. Fight. Overpowered as fuck should never have been implemented as a counter move. Safe uh, mid launcher that isn't safe. I know from back turn is too crazy. When the lows are that overpowered, she can't have a fucking mid launcher from the back turn. They have to remove that as well. Like a balanced version of Lily has less than half of her moves left. I'm not joking. Hell yeah. Let's get it. Hells yeah. Her damage is extremely low, yeah. <laughs> the compilation of frame flaming, yeah. I mean, somebody's gonna make it eventually. I guess I'm not iconic enough yet. Wow, that's OP. Oh, it's so OP. Oh, that's so crazy OP! That's the most broken thing I've ever seen, dude. You should fucking quit the franchise. Just because you're sorry, dude, that I had to play against you. Sidestep that move, most overpowered fucking round opener imaginable.
Final round. Final, final round. This is exciting. Oh my god, you absolute fucking mega bitch, dude. You born bitch. Born a bitch, lived like a bitch, fucking being nothing but a bitch until you fucking bitch die and go to your pointless bitch fucking grave. Oh my god, you dumb fucking bitch. It's like the final round and you're just gonna do the fucking green rank low dog shit out of fucking cartwheels, dude. What a fucking six-year-old level player, dude. Holy fucking shit. He says as he like fucking flames and gets super salty. <laughs> hey, good game, dude. Nice, Lily. I hope your fucking dick falls off, bitch. Well played. Get ready for the next battle. Lisa, huh? But it's a fucking low rank Elisa that doesn't give any fucking points, so it doesn't matter. Oh well. Nice whiff punish. Why not, dude? Why not? Fair enough. Fair enough, Slippery Blues. Fair fucking enough. What a bitch. Look at this fucking cocksucker getting lucky, dude. Well done, well done, damn. He's outplaying me, it's fucking crazy. Fuck this guy, what the fuck is happening? That's safe. I knew that. I knew that's safe. Nice punish. Dude, I hope this guy gets fucking cancer in his dong, dude. What the fuck is this? Good games. <laughs> Looks like a plugger. No, he's fucking good. It's weird. Holy fucking shit. Fuck this guy. What a pointless fucking match. Why the fuck do you have the lowest rank available in the game and you, you're fucking good? That's not supposed to happen. Smurfy boy? It's okay, though. Let's beat him. Just fucking let me get through, dude! The fuck ah? Yeah? Oh my god, what do you mean? What do you mean? What the fuck are you doing, dude? You fucking inventing fucking Tekken right now. Fuck are you doing? None of that can happen. Oh my god. Did you guys see that fucking miracle round that Harada gave this guy out of nowhere?
Yeah, now like all the cinematic spammy shit, so you can just like win, right? Holy shit, dude. Oh my fucking god. Fuck this. This guy's good. Fuck you. Luck. Oh god. I should have gotten noodles before I fought this fucking crazy Elisa bitch, dude. Holy shit. Fuck this guy in the asshole, dude. Not literally, I won't do him that, uh, you know, favor. Why? This guy's way too fucking good for his rank. 18 win streak? What is the wrong with this fucking cock sucking fucking monkey boy? He's obviously a really good player who's like uh, making a new account for the first time or something. So he's gonna get a higher rank than this really fast. He was very good. No, I didn't get blasted by chainsaws. He barely used them. That was not a chainsaw thing. If I had used, uh, if he had used, oh, is that you, Slippy? You cock sucking fucking orangutan? Was that you? Hey, well played, dude. That was nice. Oh, of course it is, Slippery Blues. That's Slippy. Check my win rate, dude. Check my fucking asshole. Fucking smell it close up, dude. Well played, dude. That was uh, that was uh, super sick. Well done. Why are you smurfing though? What an ugly customization. Oh my god, it looks so uncomfortable. Do the running move, do the running move again, yeah. Do a three at string, do a throw, do the running move. Do a three at string, do a throw, do the running move. Running move, throw, fucking running move, throw, running move, throw, running move, throw, three hit string, running move, throw. Azuzena does three things, she doesn't do four things. Azuzena has never done more than three things. Namco made this entire move list, but it's never been used. It's just running move, throw, three hit string, running move, throw, three hit string. What do you mean smurfing new game? I know, dude. I'm just fucking coping. Chill. I could tell from your prowess they weren't smurfing. Well played. I'm glad you picked up Elisa. Because, you know, one of the few characters in this game that isn't designed for, you know, complete fucking uh, cancerous mega, you know, uh, aggression. But our chainsaws are pretty spicy, not gonna lie. Always been an Elise. I mean, have you really? That's sick, dude. I didn't know that. Because we played. I mean, no, we played in uh, in seven, but you weren't using Elisa then, were you? 
Did you play like a bunch of other characters as well? I think, oh, didn't I? I, you, I think I, I remember playing against your Negan. And that was super fun. Like your Negan was super sick. Am I remembering that right? We had like a bunch of cool matches uh, on uh, your Negan. I remember that. The Cope Corner, yeah. Slippy is super fucking good. Alright. That's why it felt so weird. I'm like, hey, look at this fucking battle ruler, Elisa. Let me fucking uh, slap this guy around. And then it, you were way good for that rank. Dude, you're going to go uh, far. Good for you, dude. even happening now what's happening right now like none of that makes any sense what just went down right there made no sense okay final round Oh god, no fucking way, right? No fucking way. <sighs> oh no! Necesitas must fucking knives in your fucking back and eyeballs, dude. 
Fuck that raid shard. Fuck all raid shards, dude. Fucking crutch for bad players. Hey, well played. Nice, nice ass. I have to play him. I want to go make noodles, but I have to fucking kick this guy's ass. Otherwise, I'll never be able to rest and eat noodles. Kick, dude. <laughs> oh, stop doing strings now, you little bitch, dude. Fuck, final round? Why am I not 3 owing this? Why am I not 3 owing this basic fucking string cheese, dude? I mean, it's not even, like, impressive string cheese. Look at the fucking dog shit, dude. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So it's trash because they broke throws in this game. Forgot about that. Thank God. Ooh. Noodle time, right? What do you guys say to noodle time? You haven't grabbed her once? There is impressive string cheese? No, there isn't. I thought of that. Well, as I was saying it, I realized it didn't make sense. I haven't grabbed her once. I guess I haven't, no. I used to throw a lot more with Elisa than with Zafina. I guess maybe I'm just closer with Elisa more. And have more advantage. I don't know. Maybe I should use some more throws. They're very good in this game. They're kind of broken. They work against armor. Fight. 
Oh, nice. King's combos are broken. Oh, really? You're that scared? You're that fucking scared. You're that fucking convinced you can't win there. You're gonna do multi throws. Okay. Well. You might win the match, but your fucking Tekken player license is fucking revoked, dude. You don't fucking qualify. Nice job. Your fucking Tekken player license is fucking revoked, dude. You don't fucking count. Multi-throwing fucking bitch. I mean, that's just proof that you're, like, not even a good person. fucking take it. I don't fucking care. Yeah, good for you, dude. Fuck your mom, dude. Suck 50 dicks and fucking die in a helmet of dog shit. You pointless, cheating, fucking overpowered piece of fucking shit, dude. Teabag all you want after a cheap fucking shitty win in one of the game's most fucking disgustingly pathetic video games, dude. But there's a reason nobody's ever fucking loved you, and there's a reason nobody ever is gonna fucking love you, and they're the same fucking reason, dude. It's because of what you're like. And good games. Kaz is like low tier? No, Kaz is not low tier. I mean, he's worse than a lot of the very, very overpowered mega characters. But if you compare him to Zafina, he's still, you know, five times, eight times, ten times, twenty times better. King players are fucking virgins, dude. Unloved fucking virgins, dude. They're like, LOL, I troll you! <laughs> and they've fucking never sucked on a pair of titties in their life, dude. It's just fucking true. And well played. Don't put salt in your noodles. <laughs> That's actually really good advice. I am going to put a little bit of salt in them, but my sodium levels are obviously really quite high, so it's fine. <laughs> it would be sick if I could use the salt from the stream to season food. That would make it very useful. <laughs> That's funny, dude. It's wild that you haven't because your Zafin is pretty crisp. No, I completely agree. It's fine though. I can tell that I'm playing at a level where I should be able to get like Tekken King with her. But I'm just like having a bunch of bad matches. It's fine. It's just a matter of time. I'm actually like pretty happy with how I'm playing her right now. It's fine. You just gotta like get into a nice rhythm, you know. Ren the Dragon, your Nobel Prize? Well, you know, I wish I could give you one for Zafina play. 
But, you know, I'm not... I'm not a member of the Swedish Academy, so I can't. I think those are the people who decide still who gets it. Or maybe they just decide who gets the one for literature. Is that supposed to be Charles Bronson? That's pretty funny, dude. Yeah, that's supposed to be Charlie, I'm pretty sure. A snake itch, I'm sorry. I felt like it was gonna work. Beal and Snake told me to do it sometimes. Good to see that Paul still has an overpowered combo that is literally one string. So it's still a zero effort character. The free fucking wall splat and the fact that he gets a guard break, that's just like they hate Tekken. Like, the fact that they put that in the game is just they officially, actually, with a fucking passion, hate tech, and there's no other reason you would give it to Paul of all fucking characters, who can always kill with any wall splat he ever gets. Like, his thing is he gets one wall splat and then he does all the damage and he wins for free, dude. Why the fuck do you give guard breaks to Paul, dude? That's like giving Victor an actual gun and just letting him shoot people in the fucking head at the start of the round. gets the fucking guaranteed demo man off of that fucking broken good law that's not launch punishable so he shouldn't have been able to launch me there but you know whatever game's trash so maybe it makes sense that's crazy that's the fucking death of Tekken right there that's the crazy cock cheese cover death of this franchise, dude, right there. The fact that you can get that fucking uh, guard break. Yeah, that's the death of Tekken, dude. That is you shitting on everybody who's bought this game. That is you fucking uh, rubbing your the glance of your dick in fucking two million faces right now, dude. That's you shitting on Tekken as a concept. That's you killing Tekken, dude. That's you fucking killing Tekken and laughing about it, but you know. I guess that's fun for some people, but those fucking guard breaks need to be removed, dude. I think you fucking know it too, don't you? Good block. Damn, nice block. This guy's good. He's alive! He's alive! He lived! Oh my god, I thought he was dead! I let go! Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> the psychological damage is too much. <laughs> I can't. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, he fucking lived that. How did he live that? Oh my fucking god, I can't believe he lived that, dude. Cannot believe you lived that, dude. This game is fucking trash. Can't believe you lived, dude. Just do the raid shard? Oh, I guess I could've. Kinda fucking hate raid shards, though. Like, I don't even want to watch my own. But yeah, I should've done one. You're right.
broken, should not be able to get the guaranteed death fist. Nice down four to fuck. <sighs> look at this dumb bitch, dude. Paul, look at about this ugly old fucking piece of shit, dude. Look at fucking Paul in this game. Hey, we'll play it. Well played, dude. Ever listen to Cortex? No, I don't know what that is. Remove all fucking guard breaks in Tekken. Did I miss the noodles? No, I'm kind of stuck playing all these fucking Bushin bitch faces. And I don't have time to get my noodles. This is a plugger. Now this is a plugger. You guys were talking about pluggers. Here they are, dude. This is 100% a plugger, dude. Look at the outfit. Look at the character choice. This has got to be a plugger. Kind of playing good, though. So maybe not. Yeah. Good punish. Yeah, he's a good player. He's not a plugger. He's a real boosh, and you can tell. Still just doing the same three boring piece of shit moves on this fucking moron character, but you know. He knows what he's doing. That fucking down 4 2 dude. It's a fucking range nerf. Oh, her lows are all homing moves? That's good. I thought movement was supposed to be, like, useful in this game. I guess not. Yeah, this character is a joke. This character is a fucking joke. It's just string cheese. It's like a three hit string, but you're always in position to do the next three hit string. So, and, and the one for jailing is also like mega cancer. It's mega cancer, dude. It's a mega cancer character, dude. GG's. Fuck this guy. Oh, VLC player? <laughs> You're right, that is what he's cosplaying as. Take a break. Now I'm good, dude. Trust me, I'm good. I'm good. Just, you know, fucking 1 4 on Azuzena. It's not something anybody should have to deal with ever, really. Punishment's fucking broken as well. Fucking broken. That should not wall splat. That 12 frame or whatever it is. Might as well be fucking 10. It might be 10 for our honesty. the noodle yeah i'm kind of hungry but it's like i just want to like fucking beat these guys it's too distracting to go get noodles
Just the range of that fucking kick, dude. That thing has crazy range. What is that? How fast is that? I hope it's not 12. It better be like 15 if it's gonna have that kind of range. Alright, we'll play the final match against this guy and then I'll get noodles, okay? Oh yeah. You win. I think I might play like a couple more matches and then end the stream and then I might eat noodles off stream. What do you guys think? You made chicken and ribs? Chicken and ribs? Dude. Velveeta. You guys have been talking about Velveeta. What is Velveeta? Is it good? What happened to the French champagne? Good point. We haven't had uh, any in a while. Oh, the French champagne. Oh, the edgy gin bitch. Known for his lack of excellence. Broken move, broken move. Broken move, I mean the most broken move in the game. Broken combo. Very broken combo. Okay, yeah, good for you. Can't fucking play. Float charting on the game's most broken character. Okay, good for you. Have any other win buttons you want to press? Look 
at the fucking flow chart, dude. Look at the fucking flow chart, dude. The flow chart. You think he's making decisions every time he's pressing these buttons? He's done exactly that sequence a billion times before. He's flow charting harder than like somebody doing a presentation using an actual flow chart. He's so overpowered! He's so overpowered! It's like the impact speed, the fucking damage, the fucking range, the fucking properties, dude. Fucking Jin, dude. What a joke character. Fuck all Jins. It's another character where it just feels like the player, you know, doesn't get laid. <laughs> I really am turning into low tier god. <laughs> I'm like fucking calling people. <laughs> I lose to virgins and stuff. <laughs> Sooner or later I'm gonna sit here like fucking screaming the n word at people being completely deranged, dude. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry Jin guy, you're playing really well. I mean your moves are a broken joke, but you know, you're doing okay. Good luck on the promo. Panic into string dog shit. Good, good, good. It's panic into overpowered dog shit, dude. It's your entire fucking thing. Just pa panic into overpowered dog shit. Good step. Really wants that promo. <laughs> All right, dude. If you can't fucking get past Kishin playing on Jin, dude, maybe this isn't your game. Maybe you should get like into I don't know fucking Fortnite or Hacky Sack or something. Ah, <sighs> GG's, dude. Just frame plug, yeah, I know. It was clean. Oh, and he's already snake egg and edging, okay. Broken. 
broken, it's broken. Yeah, I didn't get it. Shouldn't have tried. Oh, I did get it. Never mind. It's a nice comeback. Why did you just go through? Was I too slow? Or too early? I was too early. Not lose damage during her armor. I also think that they should make this move safe again. If she had a safe armor move, that would make a big difference for her. Get ready for the next battle. <sighs> Round one.
Oh, it's so broken that he has that. Did you see that? I just stayed on the ground and he could just do a whole combo on me. Get owned. Ready for the next battle. Girlfriend just woke up. Gotta say good morning, you know. Was that guard break into Get wall bounce? No, it was battle. neither guard break nor wall bounce, but you know. Damn, I can't get a single person who is a, one above or below my rank. If I do, I can get a streak and I can get a thousand points for a single win. But I keep playing Battle Rulers and Bushins. It's fucking bullshit, dude. That's also one of the most overpowered healing gauges in the game. That homing move for Horon. That's just... I mean, the last thing we fucking needed was him being able to stand over here in stance. And jump in with a homing move. That move had to be linear. It had to be extremely linear. And they made it a homing move. Yeah, that move is so fucking broken. It's incredible. Yeah, free fucking low health sweep string, whatever, you know. Unplayable. Unplayable. Unplayable joke match and unplayable joke game. Unplayable joke game. Unplayable joke game. Unplayable joke game. Unplayable joke strings. Come on. Do broken dog shit from full screen because your character's trash. There you go. Look at this fucking joke of a human being, dude. Fucking suck an exhaust pipe, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? 
The fuck is wrong with you, dude? Holy shit, I'm gonna make noodles. Fuck this guy. Fucking hell, dude. What a joke of a human being, dude. Fucking suck every dick, dude. Suck every fucking dick. He wants to rematch, I have to rematch him. I should go make noodles, but I'll rematch this fucking cocksucking horror. You know, whatever, right? Overpowered? Overpowered? Overpowered as fuck? Overpowered? Overpowered? I mean, the most overpowered thing ever? Okay, yeah. Did do a single balanced move. Everything he did was a broken gimmick. Every, every move he did was a broken gimmick. Broken gimmick? Broken gimmick? Still hasn't played Tekken in this match at all. Still hasn't done anything that counts. Broken gimmick? Broken gimmick? Broken gimmick. Broken gimmick. Broken gimmick. Broken gimmick. Fucking sad for you, dude. So many cool characters in this game, and you've cho chosen to, like, main the one that carries you from beginner to whatever rank you want with no effort. What a fucking waste of your time. And it... Like, all the matches you play, you're wasting the time of the opponent as well. You're wasting two people's time. One of them is you, the other one is a fucking innocent human being who didn't fucking ask for this. You know what I mean? So fucking pointless. Like, nobody likes Huarong. There isn't even a, a single Huarong player I've seen making excuses for him. The Huarong players are like, yeah, I know. But, you know, once you pop, you can't stop. Okay. Nice excuse. I could have won that. I could have easily won that. What a fucking joke of a game, Tekken is, dude. Wish this franchise would fucking die. Like Soul Calibur. Hey, good games, dude. Nice war on. Alright, let's do one more match and then I'm gonna go eat noodles and sleep. I've main Horang since I was four years old and he's disgusting. There you go. Nice honesty, dude. You should just stop you should have stopped maining him when you were four years old. I'm guessing he was a fucking joke back then as well, but I don't know. Rushdown isn't a character archetype, it's an excuse to not learn or play well. Rushdown is not a valid character archetype in fighting moves. Rushdown character just means character designed for bad players. Diablo 2. Hey, that's a good idea. Don't don't make like a lame character. Don't make a like a paladin or a sorceress. Everybody plays the sorceress in Diablo 2. She's so boring, right? But I guess if you're gonna like MF, it's the easiest way to do it. Nice counter at launch.
power. Nice, okay. Look at all the health I sacrificed through that bad combo. Shouldn't have done it. And I lost. Okay. Oh no, wait, it's final round. I'm up. Never mind. Final round. That's cool. Oh really? That's broken, okay. Fuck, come on man, stop cheating. Stop cheating now. Wasn't fast enough. You don't have to corpse kick, dude. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Everything's going just fine. You don't have fucking corpse kick. Really? That's so fucking broken. You can't armor through that. Do you see that? The low fucking cancel the armor and he's still got a fucking combo. It's the most broken thing I've ever seen. This game's trash. Yeah, this game's trash. This game's trash. This game's trash. This game is unplayable fucking trash for bad fucking Tekken players too. Well played, let's go again. This is the final match of the stream. We gotta win this. Let's go. Is this game good? Uh, that's a very difficult question. It's awesome. I mean, I'm playing it a lot, but it has such ginormous flaws that it's difficult to take it seriously, which is why I have referred to it as a kusoge, which, I mean, in spirit, I think it is. But it's, you know, addictive, it's very fun, uh, but it's just difficult to take it seriously because it has such uh, incredible issues. Incredible, like, worst balancing I've seen in a fighting game. Um, I haven't played that many and I know there are games that are like barely playable because the balance is so whack. I get that. But out of all the fighting games I've ever played, I've never seen balance this bad. Um, 
cheating is still very prevalent and not really punished. There was apparently some sort of band ban wave. It doesn't seem to have done much. And now the fucking Tekken store is apparently breaking and like removing people's purchased items, which is funny, but you know, sad at the same time. But like, you know, it it works. And it looks good, and it sounds good, and it feels good. And Elise is awesome. And Zafina, you know. She's awesome, asterisk. Re real fucking useless. I mean, real fucking useless. But yeah, it's, uh, I guess, if you're asking me if I would recommend the game, uh, yes, I would recommend that you buy this game. But I would recommend that you buy a standard edition of it, and no additional content. And uh, then you... Uh, you know, focus on getting good. No, they haven't announced any balancing updates. So we have characters in the game that literally cannot lose, who are teleporting with wind, with armored, teleporting with armored wind buttons from full screen and, and complete safety. And then we have Zafina without a single move that uh, is usable in any way. Not a single redeemable move in her move list. So we got both, you know. And uh, yeah, it's it's right now it's getting to be way too long the wait for the balance patch. The like emergency patch where they try to do something about like Dragonov and Devil Jim, but they failed because they're fucking pussies and they don't want to really nerf characters. Um, you know didn't do much and since then nothing's changed but it's you know it's it's gonna be two months soon and we need i mean we have a character in the game that can't be played because she's so trash right so you know they they have to do something soon regarding tekken shop watch main man's video about uh the tekken shop from yesterday and tell me he's not on bamco's payroll uh, I'm gonna not comment, but you know, I'm just gonna not comment. What are the most OP characters? I think the most OP characters are um, Dragonov, King, Jin, Devil Jin. Those four. I think it's those four. I think it's those four. Damn, I think my Zafina is, like you said, it's I'm doing all right. I'm just losing a lot, but I think I'm playing her quite well. So we're going to get the Tekken King pretty soon. Maybe I'll get it off stream. Feng, don't forget Feng. Yeah, Feng might be up there. I don't think he's quite as crazy as like Devil Jin and, and Dragonog, but... Oh, Jun, yeah, sorry, Jun. You're right. Jun is up there as well. That's the top five. Jin, Devil Jin, Dragonov, King, uh, Jun. That's the top five for me. Yoshi is a problem? Nah, I don't believe so. Iran got IP banned from playing Tekken and Harada blames PlayStation, so who is at fault? Obviously, um, in. Iran a lot of stuff gets blocked a lot of online entertainment gets blocked by the government. I think so You know Maybe it's their fault. Maybe it's the people trying to censor stuff. Maybe the censorship is their fault I don't think you can lay it at the feet of Namco Azu and Ling. I don't have a problem with Ling. Azu Zayna I like less than Xiaoyu as an opponent, actually, but, you know, it's not broken, it's just... It's just cancerous, you know. I was shocked to see um, a major Tekken YouTuber make a video where they go in the Tekken store and, like, I think buy the maximum amount of Tekken coins on stream. And then buys a couple of customizations, and that's the video. Yeah, I was, I was shocked to see that. I was shocked to see that, but 
Maybe I shouldn't have been. AOP duck is pretty whack though. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. I just don't have... I, I, I just don't struggle winning against Ling all that much. Like, I can beat her, so... You know. Maybe it's just a matchup thing. Like I say, you know, I, I'm pretty good against Ling, but I really don't do well against... Lars and Claudio, and they're not, like, super good characters. Yeah, I'm going to make the noodles, but I'll make them off stream. You're going to make your guy to the Tekken shop? I was going to, but I don't feel like there's a point anymore. Because the, the joke that the video was going to be, people have actually made unironically that video as not a joke. Um, so now it looks like I'm creating, if I create it now, it's going to look like I'm creating it in reference to something, which I'm not. It was an original idea. It's just that somebody beat me to it and did it without irony, which is incredible, which is incredible. That video concept doesn't work anymore. Damn. Looking at tech and Reddit, there's somebody using a one hit kill hack already. Just insta-killing three rounds in one hit. They win three rounds in one hit instantly. Is the Elise starter guide still relevant? Yeah, it's completely relevant. The only thing that's changed for her is that her wall combo uh, is different now. But apart from that, she's identical to when I made the guide, so... Alright, a good stream you guys, thanks for watching. We didn't get any promos, but you know, it's coming, it's happening. It's happening soon, I can tell. I'm in good spirits about uh, where um, Zafina is, is going right now, and I think there will be buffs very soon. So you know, it's all good.
I'll see you guys around, okay? GG's. Thanks, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy my noodles now. Will Dilf Hachi come back? No, he actually's dead, dude, I'm pretty sure. Thanks, Anti Monitor and 3 Dizzle. Hey, thanks, everybody. I'll see you around. Good games, good games. Next time you'll beat me in viewer matches? Hey, let's do it, dude. Let's do it. 